unwanted jewelry. Today, Rhode Island Jewelry and Loan. All right, Hillary Clinton today releasing her tax returns. We've got them right now. The Clintons made uh, just over $10 million in 2015, $10.6 million in 2015. They paid it an effective federal rate, uh, tax rate of 34%. Uh, this all coming out just now. Um, they donated nearly 10% of their gross income to charity. Uh, this is all coming out in a campaign statement. Uh, her running mate, Tim Kaine, also releasing 10 years of his tax returns. Uh, he and his wife uh, paid an effective rate of 20% last year. Um, so right now, my question to you, Eric, is as we do see these, we're going through the numbers right now. Hillary Clinton, her husband, making over $10 million, 34% tax rate. Does this increase pressure on Donald Trump? to release his tax return. Well, I think it does, and I think he will. He's, you know, he says he'll do it after he's through with the audit. I don't know the process of that, and maybe he will, uh, but I think he should eventually release his tax return. Does anything... Return. Does, but I'd also like her to release... Now, I know they put out a letter saying she's in good health today. Her doctor released a note, too, right? That's, not, that's dated, not releasing your medical records. It's so. dated 2015. I okay, and, and, and the point is, you want to release medical records, release medical records. Don't have a doctor. Trump had a okay. doctor write a letter. Let's get, to the, let's get to these numbers, though. Does anything shock you? Yeah. Is this a lot of money? Is this a, or no, less? No, it's not a lot of money for someone in, for a family in, in in the spotlight the way they are. The celebrity that celebrities that they are, they they make four or five hundred thousand dollars on speeches. It, it's shocking that in a couple of years ago she could claim that they were broke when they left the White House. They were never broke. They had money. They knew they were going to make money. They're worth $100 yeah, I would, million. I, dollars. I would love to be that version of broke. Right. I love that, it. $100 million. Dollars. That 34% tax rate. That's is, an interesting I, I, I don't want to you know, speculate about what I don't know, not having read through the tax returns, but her minimum tax, the Buffett tax that she's proposing, is 30% on people making $2 million or more. You know, there's an additional surtax on, 4% uh, surtax on people making $5 million or more. So the fact that they make, that they, um, their effective tax rate was 34%, it's above her level, so she can say, see, I'm paying my fair share is defined by so, my own tax plan. Because this goes back 10 years of tax returns, the Clintons, it is also being revealed in this statement by their campaign, that they paid more than $43 million in federal taxes and more than $14 million in charitable contributions since 2007. Yeah, so they've always made a lot of money. If you're paying $43 <laughs> million in taxes at a 30% tax rate, I'll do the math, that's about $120 million bucks in the last 10 years. That's $12 million per year. Don't tell me you're broke. You're well, not broke. You were all, never broke. All of those organizations are paying Bill Clinton six figures to speak in front of them, also giving money to the Clinton Foundation, hoping to maybe get some business in front of the state. You know what's more important than Hillary's tax returns? Are those transcripts of her Goldman Sachs, of her speaking engagements? I really want to know what I guarantee you, you, well, I shouldn't say I guarantee you because I'm not speaking for her, but I bet that she would make that trade if he releases his taxes for the next last year. Right. Right. If I were him, I'd say, done it your way. Except, Let's go. except you're not him. You know why he won't do it? The New York Times had an interesting story today on the front cover of Business Day speculating he may pay zero. Hold on. Let's stick to what we know and what he says right. and why he says he's not releasing his tax returns. He's under an audit right now and he says he will not release his tax returns until that audit release, is complete. Release the tax returns that are not under audit, right? So he has had the tax returns that were not under audit. He's only under audit for a year or two, according to him. He hasn't been under audit for previous years. He should release those tax returns. That Nothing's preventing him. Secondly, he has, he has secondly, more pressure se to do second, it now. Secondly, there's nothing to prevent you, as Warren Buffett pointed out, even if you are under audit, from releasing your tax returns. What's the big deal? The IRS has already seen your tax returns. Because they're not accurate until, they're, uh, until the audit is through. Right. Release, number the, two, release these guys the will tell you. These guys will tell you. Every t Listen, when you're at this level of, of earners and income, Every tax year is dependent on the prior year. It, it, it multiplies every single year. So if you have an issue from 2010 that is X amount of hundreds of thousands of dollars, right. it multiplies geometrically by the right. time well, we get People want to know the complete picture, so why not wait until we have right. the complete wait picture? Wait a second. Why that that makes sense. Sense. No, no, that's true, Julie. Why don't you I, release I, the ones I, that are not under audit? Why not release the ones that are not under audit? Because they're not the complete picture. Because they're not the complete picture. If one year is inaccurate, every year after that is inaccurate. Previous to the audit. How about the tax returns previous to the that right? 15 years ago? I do. I would love to see what he paid 15 years ago. I'd love to see what he paid 10 years ago. I'd love to see what he paid I up until he can't release it. I'd love to see audit. what he was like as a I mean, child. I don't know anyone that's done that. 
Done what? We're at least 15 years. She's released 10 years. His audit was, I believe, I don't know. 15 year look back. Fine. I want to look back to the year prior to when he said he said he's been audited every year for 15 years. He said that. Excuse me. The audits have been resolved, right? He hasn't been audited for the last 15 years. Every year is resolved, Julie. You know this. You are coming up with cool excuses. No, it's not a cool issue. If this were Hillary Clinton. Every year has to be resolved or none of the years are If this were Hillary Clinton, you'd be the first to demand that she release those taxes. No, I want to see a transcript. I don't care about You will be the first. Let's go back to the amount, though, $10.6 million right. that Clinton's made right. in 2015. What do you make of that amount of money? They make a lot of money for speeches. A lot of money for speeches. Speeches which they will not, she will not, release. Right. The exactly. They're not paying her all this money because she's coming there and talking garbage to them. She should release You pay people because you be you support their message. She's saying good things. And they definitely support Hillary Clinton. And definitely Trump trust released, that she has the Has Trump has released his transcripts, by the way, for his paid speeches? I don't speeches? think he's done oh, He has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 actually. And he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get paid for those. Yeah, he, he doesn't actually TV. point out something in this yeah. doctor's letter, which is dated. Um, it was sent out by Blake Berman, dated 2015. But it goes into a lot of detail about what happened happened when she fell and hit her head and got a blood clot. I mean, a lot of medical detail. And the last line of the letter is her, um, she is in excellent physical condition and fit to serve as president of the United States. You know what, actually? And I think she's trying to put that to bed because the implications of some of what's been going on on the campaign trail is that something's wrong with her up top. Yeah, that's true. But also, Eric, yeah, how about this? Why doesn't he just release what his effective tax returns right. for the last 10 years? I'll take that. I don't even want to see the tax returns. Just show me what he does have the pressure to do things. You, unless you have now. all the information, what you're using, what you're using what for he the priority, what you're rolling forward, I'm guessing you can't that they, come up with the numbers. I'm you know guessing, this. He's already paid. This is straight Eric, arithmetic. Eric, he's already paid something. I want to know what he's paid in taxes. I'd like to know well, what his effective tax returns are. If it's not accurate, you want him to... Wait a second. Then he should just tell you, I paid 17%. I'd love to know that. I'm guessing that the Clinton should pay it up because that's as good as yeah. what you would get if you were right, so the money's already spent, we've got right? to wrap it up there but also in this statement coming out of hillary clinton's campaign when they did release her taxes their family's taxes uh they said that this sets the standard for financial transparency by releasing the tax returns and they're calling on trump to do using the word transparency is rich <laughs> <laughs> i'm surprised they act okay. that's actually in their lexicon i know we shall leave it there donald trump turning the tables on the media after doubling down on his claims president obama and hillary Clinton co-founded ISIS, Trump's new comments, and what it means for his candidacy going forward. Plus, Tim Kaine and Mike Pence redefining the traditional role of running mate. Will playing defender rather than attack dog help or hurt their running mate's chances for victory come November?